I was feeling great. And then I woke up and I had a scratchy throat and stuffy nose and all this other stuff. I was feeling a little better. Did first take on ESPN this morning. And then after that, I was feeling a little worse. But there's no way that I was going to pass up doing my podcast today. I'm just not going to be too long with it because I'm not feeling great. But let me get right into it and let's get started with the NBA playoffs and specifically my New York Knicks. The Knicks took a commanding 3-1 lead against the Philadelphia 76ers yesterday, beating them 97-92 in Philly, no less. Jalen Brunson. Let me say that again. Jalen Brunson was absolutely sensational. Dropping a playoff record, 47 points for the New York Knicks franchise to go along with his 10 dimes. They now head back to Madison Square Garden tomorrow night for a potential closeout in Game 5 because obviously they're up 3-1 in the series right now. As an aside, Mr. Joel Embiid, who dropped 50 on the New York Knicks in Game 3, he managed just one point in the fourth quarter of Game 4. No field goal, shooting 0 for 5 from the field. Afterwards, of course, Embiid was a bit salty, but not because of just the results. It was because of the crowd in Philly, specifically the number of Knicks fans we all heard in the Wells Fargo Center. Just what Joel Embiid had to say. I love our fans. I'm not calling them out, but it is disappointing. You know, kind of pisses me off, especially because Philly is considered a sports town. So, you know, they've always shown up and I don't think that should happen. It's not OK. Yeah, I get where he's coming from. Makes sense. I understand. Uh, feel bad for him. My condolences. I'd like to say that uh, because Philly's going home. Joel Embiid is one of the greatest big men I've ever seen in my life. He's absolutely phenomenal. And on one leg to do what he's been doing this series is, is definitely admirable. But it wasn't his day yesterday. And when he complains about the Philly crowd, all I'm going to say to you is this. There's a difference between Nick fans and most fans. Just like there's a difference between Cowboy fans and most fans, stuff like that. And let me explain to you the difference. Ticketmaster and all of this stuff, they might have tickets on sale. And, you know, you might have people to pick up the phone. And they say, you know, we're going to call at 12 noon. What the New York Knicks fans was doing that at 6 a.m. That's who we are. That's who we are. And that's what happened, okay? Now, you need to understand that when you are a franchise that's been starving for a championship for years because you ain't won anything since 1973, okay? Damn it. And you sense the moment is arriving that you're inching closer and closer and closer. You're going to be very, very supportive. You're going to be very happy. This is what's going on. That's the way you're going to see things. That's the way it's going to go, okay? With that being said, the New York Knicks are up 3-1. It ain't because of that damn crowd. It's because of the Knicks. It's because of Jalen Brunson, and it's because of OG and Anobi. You got to remember, Mitchell Robinson was down after Joel and B tugged away at his leg. OK, again, he should have received a flagrant two for that should have been ejected that game. But that's neither here nor there. That's game three. That's neither here nor there. Mitchell Robinson ultimately got hurt. He wasn't ready to go in game four. Isaiah Hartenstein was your center. This dude, after not registering a foul in the first half, gets five fouls in the third quarter. I don't know what the hell Tom Thibodeau was thinking about leaving him out there. But you Hartenstein, don't you have a brain? Yes, he does. How the hell do you pick up five fouls in one quarter? Nevertheless, that was the situation, and because of that, OG Ananobi had to guard Joel Embiid. And guard him, did he do? Lord have mercy. He was all up in him, got low on him, made it, made it very compromising and difficult for him to use his legs and to gather movement. So Joel Embiid did the best that he could, but ultimately it wasn't good enough because he was ultimately neutralized. Nobody could stop Jalen Brunson. Nobody could stop him. 47 points. Put on an absolute show. And because of that, the New York Knicks are up 3-1. Let me say this about Jalen Brunson. Of course, Kevin Durant going to Golden State was a big deal. Of course, LeBron James going to the Miami Heat. Uh, and then after that, to the Los Angeles Lakers as a free agent. That was a big deal. I challenge anybody, omitting those two situations, those two stories involving Kevin Durant and LeBron James, I challenge anyone, anyone, to tell me a bigger free agent pickup than that. Tell me who it is. Who's been a better and a bigger free agent pickup than what Jalen Brunson has ultimately turned into be for the New York Knicks? The brothers are top five candidate for league MVP honors. The New York Knicks 
are basically getting set for a date against the Indiana Pacers in the Eastern Conference semifinals, a series I believe they will win and ultimately advance to the conference finals, just like I told you. And if you watched me on NBA Countdown on ABC before the New York Knicks played, I told you Jalen Brunson was going to drop over 40 and that the New York Knicks was going to win. And they're going to go up 3-1, and they're going to come back to the Garden and close it out Tuesday night. And that's exactly what happened. Jalen Brunson is that special. He's that special. But I got to give love to Ananobi as well. The New York Knicks are 22-3 and when they've had both Jalen Brunson and OG Ananobi in the lineup this season. That includes a 13-0 mark undefeated at Madison Square Garden where the New York Knicks will be last tomorrow night for Game 5. So good luck to the Philadelphia 76ers to find a way of pulling that off. One of the other things that I'd be remiss in neglecting to give props to Joel Embiid is this. The Sixers have outscored the Knicks by 34 points in 160 minutes with Embiid on the court. With Embiid off the court, the Sixers have outscored the Knicks by 38 points. Think about that. That is, okay, that is a 72-point turnaround when Joel Embiid is on the court. So I can't ignore what this brother means to the game, what he means to the Philadelphia 76ers. I understand him being upset, you know, about Philly fans not really representing because the New York took over. But I don't think it's that Philly fans didn't represent. I think that, you know, you ticket master and others, you don't know who you're selling the tickets to. Somebody jumps in, they try to buy it. And that's what it is. New York Knicks just beat them to it. That's all.